you're not gonna be upset. You're not at all. Because I mean, who who wants to be ashy? Who wants to be dusty and crusty? Nobody. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys have been doing well. As you can see, it's a little bit more relaxed. We're a little bit, you know, we're sitting on the bed. Chill video today. Today we're gonna be talking about my recent fall favorites, the things that I have been loving lately, what I have not been able to put down. And all of these products are, I wouldn't say pretty new, but I would say they're pretty new to you guys. I didn't wanna show you guys something that I've talked about over and over and over. I didn't want to be repetitive. So I made sure to put stuff out that I feel like I haven't shown some love in a while, but I have been using quite a lot behind the camera. So if you guys are interested in seeing what my recent fall favorites will be and what I would recommend for you guys to try out and pick up for your own, then just go ahead and keep watching. First of all, if you're not subscribed, I'm gonna need for you to fix that, okay? I'm gonna need for you to go down, you know, pause this video, click out, zoom out, whatever, escape, escape the page, and subscribe to my channel, join the fam, because we have loads of fun over here. If you love makeup, if you love beauty, if you love skincare, lifestyle, all that good stuff, then subscribe to my channel, because this is a place for you. So let's get started with this favorites. I really hope I'm in focus. Am I in focus? Okay. First of all, I'm feeling the makeup. I decided to switch it up, because y'all know all I do is neutrals, and I was like, you know what? No, Lorraine. Today, we're going to play with some color, so I play with some color. I hope you guys like it. If you want this tutorial, <laughs> let me know. I will film it. I did not film it because today was just one of those makeup days where you're just playing with makeup. You don't know what you're going to do, and then boom. So here we are. But if you like this look, let me know. I'll be more than happy to film it for you guys. Anyways, okay, so I have an assortment of things here with me. Um, I'm going to start off with candles. Usually I'll start off with skincare, makeup, whatever, but we're gonna go candles, then body, then makeup, then skincare. We're gonna switch it up today. I have three candles here with me. Um, one of them, you guys have probably seen me mention a while, while, while ago. One of my favorite staple fall favorites, which is probably the most raved about candle in the entire universe, not world, but universe is the Marshmallow Fireside, the one that looks like this. Well, it comes in a bunch of different packaging, but this is the one I picked up. I thought it was really cute. The gold, the gray, it's just my vibe, it's a vibe. So, I picked this up, I have a couple of these. Whenever they have candle sales, I guarantee you I'm gonna pick up at least one Marshmallow Fireside because I cannot have enough of it. I burn this stuff all year long. If you guys know, the kind of scents I like tend to come out usually in the fall, winter time because they're more muskier, more spicier. That's my jam. So I usually try to stock up on those candles so they can last me all year because I'm not really a fruity, citrusy kind of girl. So this is like one of my favorite candles from Bath & Body Works, the Marshmallow Fireside. If you guys have never smelled it before, I highly recommend for you to go in store and smell it. It will not be out of stock because this is one of those candles that is a staple. They will never run out of it. And if they ever choose to um, discontinue it, people are probably gonna protest. It's just that deep. So if you've never smelled Marshmallow Fireside, it's just fall in a candle. It's the perfect amount of sweetness, perfect amount of sandalwood, perfect amount of spicy, warmth, coziness. It's just everything, it's just everything in one, and I just can't get enough of it. The second candle that is pretty new to me that I have absolutely been loving is actually Jackie Ina's brand. I picked up two candles from when she launched in August. I picked up this one, which is Caked Up in Matcha Business. I already burned Matcha Business about a month or two ago, and we soon got it. I really did like it. It was a little too hazelnutty coffee for me. I do like coffeeier scents, but I'm not a fan of hazelnut. It wasn't a bad candle. I liked it, but I loved this. This stuff is so good. <laughs> I don't even know how to describe it. Okay, so the candle caked up has notes of vanilla bean and musk. The heart of the candle smells like honey, jasmine, and coconut, and the top notes are roasted pistachio, almond cream, and pineapple. Y'all, first of all, 
you don't smell no pineapple, so just disregard that because I don't smell nothing pineapple. This is it. It's almost done burning. I was actually burning it last night. I fell asleep with it on and I woke up to it burning still. Burn time is amazing. It lasts me a long time. It says I think the burn time is up to 60 hours, 65 hours. That's a long, long time. It will not run out very quickly. You should have it for at least a month. So it's definitely an investment, but it's an investment that is well made because they're amazing. Like you're, you're gonna smell the candles through the box before you open your package. That's just how bomb they are. And the last candle company I want to talk about is Vibes AF Candle. This is a black owned company that is just bomb, okay? I actually have one of her candles burning back there. It's called Sunday Vibes. It smells so good. I discovered this brand about a year or two ago at an indie market that I went to here in Atlanta, and she actually has her stuff online, so you don't have to be from Atlanta to purchase from her. She has amazing stuff. She just relaunched and rebranded, so these are her new candles. This is the Candle Smooth Operator. This is a very sexy, musky, grown man, like, oof kind of scent, you know? Um, I absolutely love her stuff, and she she's just passionate about what she does, and I absolutely love her, and I love supporting anyone who loves what they do, especially black-owned businesses, because, I mean, come on, what's better than giving back to your community? So I definitely recommend for you guys to check out Vibes AF Candles. I'm gonna make sure I link her um, website down below and her Instagram page if you guys want to check her out, because she has some bomb, bomb, bomb bomb stuff i highly recommend there's a scent for everyone okay go check her out because she's bomb all right so next we're gonna move on to scents since we're talking about fragrance we might as well move on to some perfumes i have two perfumes here that i absolutely love especially for this time of year first perfume i want to talk about is this one right here this is the lancome la vie et belle this is a staple this is a classic for me i absolutely love this perfume this scent is just so beautiful. It's soft, but still has such a like impact, you know? Like, it's so long lasting. This is the kind of scent that you put on and you are going to smell it the next day if you fall asleep with the clothes on. No, not only if you fall asleep with the clothes on. Let's say you take your clothes off, you put them in a laundry basket, a week later, when you're separating your clothes to do your laundry, baby, you still gonna still smell this perfume. That's just how good and how strong and how long-lasting and potent it is. It gives you the beautiful warmth and the coziness of like fall, and it also has like a hint of sweetness. So it's very feminine, but also like, um, yeah, I'm a girl, but I'm a grown woman, like don't play with me kind of scent, you know? I, I I just love this. I really recommend, if you've never smelled La Vie et Belle, smell it if you get a chance because it's a scent that you will be hooked on like that, I promise you. The other perfume I wanna talk about is YSL Black Opium. This one, I specifically like to wear it in this time of year, fall, winter, because it's very, it has a lot of coffee kind of notes, a lot of black currant, you know, it has a lot of like spicy notes. Let me read the notes to you so it will probably be a lot better for you to understand if I could read the freaking notes. <laughs> so hold on, give me one second. Okay, so the scents for YSL Black Opium, um, the key notes are black coffee, white flowers, and vanilla. It is in the warm spicy family and it's a warm and sweet gourmand type of scent. It just has so much depth. When it comes to scents, for this time of year, you need something that is strong-ish and long-lasting. You need something that kind of holds its own. Fall scents are scents that are more spicy, more warm, more, you know, musky. Cause it like, it just holds itself up really, really well. It's better to go with scents that have a little bit more depth inside of them because it wears better. It just lasts longer and it wears better, hands down. So I really recommend YSL Black Opium if you guys have never checked it out. They do have this at Sephora. They also have La Via Bella Sephora. So if you've never smelled either of them, stop by Sephora or Macy's or whatever, Belk. They'll have those scents and you can be able to smell them. Next, we're gonna move on to lotions for the body, okay? So my go-to 
lotion for fall and winter, specifically for fall and winter. I use this all the time. I use this all year long. But specifically, fall and winter is the Nivea Essentially Rich Dip Nourishing Almond Oil. Make sure it says almond oil. This lotion right here, this stuff is so good. It's $5, $4 or $5, depending on which store you're at. This stuff is the truth, okay? If you have dry skin, it fixes it. It lasts all day. You don't get ashy. You don't get dry. It just, it works. It's perfect. It doesn't feel sticky either. Like, it leaves a beautiful glow on the skin, but it doesn't feel oily, it doesn't feel sticky, it doesn't feel gucky or anything like that. I used to use Jergens because that's what my mom used to use, but if you're a Jergens fan, I mean, hey, kudos to you, but you sleeping on this because this is the best. Period. I said it. It's the best. It's better than Jergens. It's better than anything. Nivea is better than all. Okay? It, it, it tops the cake. So if you've never tried this, please pick it up. Okay? You're not going to be upset. You're not. At all. Because, I mean, who, who wants to be ashy? Who wants to be dusty and crusty? Nobody. No one. <laughs> so pick this up and try it because it's really, really good. Next, we're gonna jump into a couple makeup products that I have here. Then we'll do skincare and we'll be all done. So, as of lately, I have been loving one primer. And I don't know if you guys are gonna know, some of you guys may know. If you're a true watcher, a true fan, you probably know what I'm about to say. But I have been absolutely loving. Loving, 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 loving the Tatcha Liquid Silk Canvas Primer. It's amazing. It's great. <laughs> I love this liquid version because it's super easy. It comes in a pump. It's not like the bomb where you have to keep going and digging in with your hands. I have the bomb in my travel makeup because I like it a lot. So I have the mini bomb in there and this is what I keep in the house. I use this, it works great with all foundation. It really does minimize and blur out your pores. It mattifies your face, but it doesn't like mattify your face to the point where you feel like you're too dry. It's just a great all around primer. It works on all skin types. It doesn't matter what kind of skin you have, it's going to do the job for you. If you've never tried the Liquid Silk Canvas, try to go to Sephora and get a sample of it because it is kind of pricey. So try it out for yourself and see if you like it. But I highly, highly recommend for you to try it because it's a game changer. It really is. Next, I'm gonna mention two foundations that have really, really been, I've, really, I've been using a lot lately. And the first one is gonna be the e.l.f. Flawless Finish Foundation. You guys saw this, I used it for the first time in my um, Full Face of e.l.f. video and I was shook it okay first of all this foundation is six dollars so there boom there there we go that's that okay it's six dollars very affordable they have a great shade range finally thank god um, i'm in the shade cocoa i do mix in a little bit of spice just a little bit because um sometimes when i you know get a little color to my skin but this is primarily the shade that i use which is cocoa it lasts all day the coverage is superb it looks beautiful it, it's gorgeous and i was really surprised because of how it wore i had this makeup to have this foundation on for I think eight to ten hours that day that I did my makeup and at the end of the day I was surprised by how my face looked because I had not touched up not once and when I tell you I did not have any laugh lines and that's how I judge a foundation the first thing I always judge is how it wears over here because I have laugh lines like it, I guarantee it's I'll be it's nine times out of ten that I will get laugh lines when I wear any kind of foundation like it's just something that's uncontrollable I can't do anything about it. So when a foundation doesn't cause any laugh lines after wearing it all day, that's when I know that it's amazing, it's long wearing, it actually works. And this foundation, I will say, it's really, really good. If you've never tried it, try it. I mean, what do you have to lose? $6 if you don't like it? <laughs> it's a really good foundation. They have it at Target, they have it at e.l.f. They have it on Walmart. They have it wherever Elf is carried, they will have this foundation. Go pick it up, find your shade, try it out, cause you're gonna like it. Next foundation I'm gonna be talking about is new to me. And you guys have seen it in my recent video that I uploaded, but I have not been able to put my hands, I have not been able to put it down. I have been using it almost every single time I've been doing my makeup since I used it for the first time. And that is the Rare Beauty Foundation. You guys, I have it on right now. It is so good. Like, I hate to be that person. <laughs> I really. 
really do. I was like, you know, like the reason why I didn't try her stuff, nothing against her, but I was just like, what is all this hype about? Like, is it really that good? No, it, it really is that good. It is. Like, I it, I, it shut me up. Like, for real, for real. Like, I was shook and I didn't have anything to say. And I always have something to say. I didn't have anything to say. Like, it's just that good. The foundation wore very, very well. I was surprised that it did because it's a very liquidy foundation. So I assumed I would get super duper oily, super duper quickly, but I didn't. I didn't. I have this on right now. I've actually been wearing it for the past <clears throat> four hours. My face is holding up pretty, pretty well, I would say. It held up really well with my lash lines too. I didn't have lash lines that were that bad. They, they were there just a little bit, but that's common, especially for me, especially for foundation. Like, it's just gonna happen. Like I said, lash lines are one of those things that is very hard to kind of like get away from. Like, if you have it, you're most likely gonna end up getting it when you wear foundation. It's just gonna happen. I am saying that this foundation is the most easiest foundation that I've ever applied to my face in my entire life. It doesn't get any easier than this. So if you're someone who is new to the foundation game or who wants to try foundation, is kind of nervous, doesn't really, you know, like, some, looking for something super easy to use, very, you know, lasts all day, very lightweight, very comfortable, check this out because it really covers all of that. It does the work for you, blends itself, it lasts all day, it wears beautifully, doesn't feel like you have makeup on, I don't feel like I have makeup on. I really recommend for you guys to try this out. If you've never tried Rare Beauty, try her foundation out because it's really, really good. I fell in love with it. It's become one of my new favorite foundations and it's hard for me to find new favorite face products. So when I do, I make sure I let you guys know because I'm very hard critic when it comes to things that are on my face. You can easily manipulate an eyeshadow or a lip product or whatever, but like foundations and primers and stuff like that, if it's good, oh yeah, it's good. So you guys try that out, please. Um, the other thing that I have been loving lately is from Rare Beauty as well, is her liquid blush. She has made me fall in love with this thing, okay? I've never been a liquid blush kind of girl, but ever since I tried this as well, I have not been able to keep my hands away from it. I have been using it all the time. It dries matte, that's why I like this one. I'm not a fan of dewy stuff on my face or on my cheeks. I, am, I don't care for that because I'm gonna get oily. So I'm not trying to make myself get oilier quicker if that makes any sense. So this is a liquid to powder finish. So it does dry down and literally feels like powder on your um, face. So it's great. The color is amazing. This is the shade Love. Um, highly recommend for you guys to check it out. I, that's all I'm gonna say. Check it out. If you had to check out two, two or three things from her brand, the foundation and the blush should definitely be on your list because you're going to love them. And lastly, uh, for makeup, I have three palettes here. I'm gonna go quickly through them because I've mentioned them on my channel before. Um, lately, I have been loving the Natasha Denona um, bronze palette. This palette is amazing. Like, if it does not scream fall to you, then I don't know what does. I love all the colors here. Like, they blend amazing. The shimmers are gorgeous. She really killed it with this palette. I have not been able to keep my hands off this palette since I got it during the summer. It's one of my favorite launches this year. I will say that. And it's amazing. It's gorgeous. I mean, it's, it's freaking gorgeous, guys. <laughs> um, I love every single shade in here. The second palette that is really, really, really amazing for fall that I love using um, is the Domini Cosmetics Latte 2 palette. This palette looks like this. I really like this palette a lot. I love it because it has these pops of color, which I know you're probably like, why? That's not even fall. I know, it's not. But when you mix it in with like these deep browns, guys, like it works, okay? It, ugh, it's just beautiful, especially this yellow and this pink, you guys, I'm telling you, it's amazing. It also has this little quote on the inside that says, every day is a fresh start, and I just absolutely love that. This palette is gorgeous. Her shimmers are beautiful. 
Um, I've used this palette on my channel before, forever ago, earlier this year, but I've always used this palette throughout the year, but I specifically love it for this time of the year, especially because of these deep, deep bronze. They are just beautiful. I freaking love this palette. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. I mean, it just has everything that you kind of need in your life. It's, I mean, it's gorgeous. It's pretty. I don't know what else to say. And last but not least for the palettes, I have this chocolate, the chocolate palette by Juvia's Place. Um, this palette looks like this. Now this palette, y'all, if you love a nice, deep, brown, smoky eye, this is what you need in your life. Like, it has a couple shimmers and mattes that are just completely a must for fall. These deep browns that are in here, I love the colors because they're so unique. Like, it's not a warm brown. She does have a warm brown in here, but these two deep browns at the top, like, they're almost kind of black, and they're also kind of cool toned, so, and neutral, so it really smokes out, like, your shadows and just... It just takes it to the next level. So, you know, if you're going out or something, if you're trying to go out in town, going on a date, if you're just trying to be that bitch, okay, <laughs> this palette is bomb. They have this on JuviusPlace.com. They have it on Ulta.com. It's $14, I believe, but sometimes they have sales on it that, like, drops it down to, like, 10 or 9 bucks. So that's when I would try to cop it if I was you. But honestly, this stays sold out. Like, I don't, I haven't seen it back in stock for a while so if you can see this if you find this get your hands on it because it's a great 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 eyeshadow palette okay all right so we're finally down to the last products we're gonna talk about a little skincare I have two products here that I have been using so much lately almost every day the first thing I'm gonna talk about is the Fenty skin moisturizer this moisturizer has really grown on me since you guys saw my review when I first got it when it first launched I it, I was iffy with this moisturizer but when I tell you guys it grew on me and I can I can't live without it I can't okay first of all it's so simple to use it's so easy and my favorite thing about it is the fact that it has SPF in it uh, one less step for me to do in the morning literally so once I've washed my face toned all I do is just go with this put it two squirts put it in my face blend it out boom we're done like that's it and the scent is very very flattering I actually really like the scent I I love the scent actually and the packaging is amazing it's gorgeous very easy to use I love that it's refillable so you could just kind of take this off see it comes like that so whenever I run out of this Thing, capsule whatever you want to call it compartment all I have to do is reorder this I don't have to order a whole other thing I keep this reorder this pop it back in and that's it if you've never tried Fenty skin I really do recommend to try her stuff she she just launched um, the night cream which I kind of want to try I'm not pressed to try it if you have to be real with you because I already have other stuff that I love using for nighttime but I mean hey we'll see if I try it out I'll let you guys know what I think about it but as far as like everything else goes this moisturizer is where it's at it's so easy to use it's very innovative and it's just perfect so I really have been loving using this and for nighttime actually for daytime and nighttime I've really been obsessed with the CEO vitamin C rich hydration cream from Sunday Riley this looks like this I got this in my boxycharm about two months ago and I have been loving this cream it looks like this it's very 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 gorgeous um, it's super thick it is a thicker cream which I actually like and that's why I like using it mostly at nighttime I use more of like my thicker hydrating masks kind of stuff at night because that's when I want to really feed all the nutrients and the goodness to my skin I'm not really a fan of super duper thick creams in the daytime or in the morning because I feel like I get oilier quicker but since we are entering the fall winter colder months you can get away with thicker creams pretty much any time of the day the only thing that is a little mm about it is the price of one it's expensive okay if, if, if I didn't get this in my boxy charm I would have never bought it okay but it's a really really good cream it has vitamin C in it which you guys know I rave about all the time vitamin C does wonders on your skin if I had to describe the scents it smells like tangerines <laughs> that's what it smells like it smells like tangerines 
not too strong but you definitely get a hue of like tangerine orange kind of thing so that's the only thing that I'm not really like too fond of because I'm not a citrusy kind of girl but hey I'll get over it it works the cream is amazing it does wonders for my skin so I've been really really loving this and the last but not least final products gosh because I've been talking for a long time I cannot live without this stuff okay I use it every single day every single night and during the day I just use it I use it all the time this is the Laneige sleeping mask it looks like this this is the original um, they do have a couple other flavors this stuff y'all she is it okay I've had this for a while I've had this for three months and I still have a long ways to go it's like up here I still have to go all the way through all of this but this stuff is so good it's the I think one of the best lip moisturizers that I've ever put on ever like ever like it literally does keep your lips like moisturize the entire night when I put this on at night it's the last step in my skincare routine I put this on when I wake up in the morning my lips are chapped my lips still feel moisturized and I sleep for at least seven hours so that's kind of wild um, this stuff is really good they also have lip balm so if you want to keep one on hand if you don't want to carry this little tube thing or whatever around you can get the lip balms as well because they do have that so if you've never tried the Laneige sleep sleeping mask I really really recommend for you guys to try it out because it's so good all right guys and that is it we're done I've shown you guys all my fall favorites I'm so happy that I did this video because I've been really looking forward to doing this video all the stuff that I mentioned to you guys I will make sure that I link down below so that you guys are able to find it easily I really do love every single product that I mentioned to you and I highly recommend each and every one of them they're amazing everything is just bomb okay so good so so good if you guys um, loved this video make sure that you like it make sure that you comment down below let me know what products that I mentioned that you're interested in trying or if you already have them or if you've tried them yourself let me know down below which ones are your favorite or some of your fall favorites that you guys use at this time of year that I haven't mentioned I would really love to find out so I can like chit chat with you guys in the comments let me know what else you guys would love to see subscribe to my channel if you have not already and I'll see you guys on the next one. Mwah. Bye.